Okay. Yeah. Now, what is major change in your heart, in your feeling, in your life, in the way you vision things after now your journey of Islam? Okay. Now you take care about the first obstacle, which is a husband. Yes. Or to believe is a man is the one. Yes. Now next, what is the major things you consider it happened to your life? Okay. Um, the other um, adjustment that I had to make, which was not easy for me, was that I was an escapee. I w used to escape from everything that was not working for me. If I didn't like something, I would just leave it and go. But um, I realized, I was taught that you, you can't do that anymore because everything that I do, I will be questioned about it. And therefore, I will be responsible for all my actions. So I had to take care of things and not just leave it as as it was. I had to take care of it in a clean way, that way I wouldn't be in trouble later, which is the day of judgment. So that was another adjustment I had to make, was to really face myself, what my um, problems were, and I had to make improvements in my myself, how to, yeah, and I, I learned to be more responsible, and I realized that that was for my own good, and and I worked for that. I worked on that. Okay. Now you start your journey. Now you finish your marriage. Now you try to, like, to care about your own personality and your own vision of life. Yeah. Now, are you happy at this time? Yes. Discovering Islam was actually um, freedom for me. And I guess also that was one of the things that I was looking for was to be free. I was afraid of things and and yeah, I was a slave to many things, I guess. But uh, discovering Islam was um, freedom to me because because I realized that I was my future was in my own hands. I could do good for myself by doing good and if I did wrong I would have to pay for that but I was free in a sense that that nobody had to I couldn't blame anybody actually so so yeah sorry. <laughs> now somebody might say how you can be free and you have to have cover you have to pray five times a day, you have all this regulation. How you call this freedom? It's still freedom because it's my choice. I chose to cover because it's, I know it's good for me. In this life and in the hereafter, I'm so comfortable to walk in front of anybody, in front of construction workers sitting on the street or anybody. I'm very comfortable and I feel I'm I'm very happy in this clothing. I didn't think I would be, but yeah, I feel I feel like I get more respect act actually. Um, people treat me like a grandmother because I look like one, and freedom. And also praying, and everything really is is for my own self. And I chose to do that. That's why I think it's I call it freedom. But before, my choices were based on on many other things, like going to co having to go to college or high school back in Japan was because everybody had to do it, and I didn't really want to do it. But I, it was just a norm, uh, even though it didn't make sense to me. I had to do such things, yeah. So as opposed to that, I I regard this as as Real liberty. Well, as we know, we have liberty within. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Now, this liberty within, how it affect your life? 
how it affect your thinking, how it affect your goal in life. You said you were good-hearted and you want to do good and you want to help people. Mm -hmm. Now, how Islam fashion you and fashion your thinking from mm -hmm. your era in your life? Mm -hmm. Okay, Islam really did bring brought me happiness um, from within to know that I am at peace with my Creator. I don't. I do not go against my Creator the one who controls everything and that gave me a lot of peace because I used to think that things should be this way that way and when it didn't go the way I wanted I would get very upset and feel rebellious but now I know that the Creator has His will and nothing can nobody can move that so by surrendering my will to Surrendering, my, surrendering myself, I found peace. So that's how, I mean, it's not like it's, it's rosy now. It's still a big struggle to, to, to do that. You know, there are a lot of things that I don't like in life, but I know how to cope with it now. And that really helped me in such a way that that I, I feel really Islam is the answer to everything, to everybody. And that's why I really want to share Islam to everybody. So that it would help everybody and help, really help take care of everything. I used to care for the people who were oppressed. And I used to be angry about the peop the oppressors. But they were they are also go they can be taken care of by Islam too. Because Islam would warn the oppressors and they would have severe consequences. Very severe consequences because of what they did. And the oppressed ones they can have hope even though they are in such a situation because they must know that the Creator He God the Creator he said he does not intend any injustice to any of his slaves. And also that this life is a test for everybody. This is not where you can have a happy life. This is not where you have parties, but this is a test. Every day is a test and you have to go through that. Everybody has to go through that. But also at the same time, the comfort is that God the Creator said, that he will not charge any soul except for within its capacity, meaning that you can handle it. You can handle what's coming. So you will not be afraid of your future. You will not feel insecure. You will not feel scared about what's going on because you must know that, that God is taking care of everything. Allah is taking care of everything. And it's such comfort, and it's the truth. It really is the truth, so that's the, another great thing, that is the truth. How do you know it's the truth? This takes a knowledgeable person, but it's an undeniable truth. And help me out with this truth. For example, for example, for example, the Quran, it has the Creator's signatures everywhere. If you want to challenge it, you can challenge it, but you will not be able to overcome. God tells us to challenge it. He challenges us to challenge it, but we cannot win it. So try it. Okay. Now, what is your goal in life? My goal in life is, is to spread the truth. The truth is light, and we need light for direction, and to see things, to see things. And falsehood, which is prevailing at this time, is really darkness. We cannot see what's going on, and it's a terrible place to be, to, to be without light. And God, the Creator, says that I am the light of the heavens and the earth. So knowing God, the Creator, would give light. 
and comfort and comfort and support and support and everything you look for you can get it really